Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Well after my big disaster yesterday and panic attack um, I thought I'd better put another video up and just show you how I fixed the problem in case any of you out there have the same issue and I knew I know two or three of you have actually lost planes uh, in the myriad of files and, and things so um, what I'm going to do is explain what happened to me uh, once I found out what had happened then it was easier for me to fix the problem and uh, I hadn't actually changed anything in my game so it must have been something to do with update 7 because a lot of things had changed including my difficulty settings it had gone to easy rather than medium uh, the control figuration for my joystick had, had changed profile so I had to set that back to the the right profile setting for my controls and my joystick um, and of course the other big thing was that um, I lost quite a few of my planes so what I did is I started searching through the different files to try and find them now there is a file everybody knows about it it's called sim objects and within that sim objects sim objects there's another file called aeroplanes and that's where your aeroplane file should be um, but a lot of my files had been taken out of aeroplanes and just put into sim objects so they wouldn't show up on my startup menu, wouldn't show up on my content manager um, or anywhere. So what I did, once I found those files in sim, sim objects, uh, I copy and pasted them back into the aeroplanes folder. And once I'd done that, um, they showed up again on my startup and setup screens for the game and also in my content manager. Um, now I also found um, when I went to my profile and my content manager a lot of the planes that I put in um, were due for updates it said uh, update available so I immediately downloaded the update for my 737 there's a few others I haven't done yet so um, I immediately downloaded the update for my 737 and it is looking really really good that's why I wanted to do this flight video for you today just to show you what I've found um, <clears throat> okay so I transferred my my plane files over where they should be set up again my configuration for my joystick and changed my um, difficulty settings back to medium um, yeah, so if any one of you are having that kind of problem, missing planes, uh, just 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 do what I do and see if it works or not. See if it's the same sort of issue. Um, now I also noticed for a few weeks or a couple of weeks probably the um, the marketplace has been closed. All that part of my menu screen uh, was grayed out. I could not go into. Um, marketplace but once I fixed this problem for some reason marketplace was turned back on so I can go back into the marketplace whether the marketplace was closed for maintenance or they're doing some upgrading or changing I don't know but it just seems a bit coincidental that once I fix this problem uh, the marketplace was then available uh, let me know in the comments if you've had any issues as well with the marketplace or with your planes if you have lost planes, I hope this is helpful. Uh, maybe your problem is different to mine, uh, but if it is the same as mine, well, that's how I fixed it. Now today we're flying from uh, St. Louis down to um, Nashville, and we're in the Southwest uh, Airline Colors, a beautiful livery here, and just look at the 737 now. Notice at the back the wings are aligned so there are things that have been fixed. I know before on the ground the wings were aligned but as soon as you took off the wings went all sort of wonky in all directions like the old wonky donkey. Uh, but this time is different. You'll see when I take off things are looking a lot better and also the wing flex has been updated as well. The outside of the aircraft has always looked nice, I believe, and that's why I've stuck with it. It, it does look like a very nice 737, but now it just seems to look that much sharper for some reason. I don't know whether it's my imagination or not, but I know other problems have been fixed, um, and that's the main thing, really. That main, um, that main issue has been fixed, and maybe a few other little things have been updated as well. 
and we'll notice those later as we spend more and more time flying this lovely plane. Okay, my co-pilot has very kindly gone through the uh, the systems and started everything up. We've got, in, got everything ready for departure. Uh, so we're going to get rid of the uh, jetway disconnection. Uh, we have our luggage on board, the catering has been done, I just noticed someone didn't close the door, so we'll have to make sure someone uh, closed the, the door in that regard. I'll go over to my crew announcements. And, um, Board boarding door has been closed, once again we do need all passengers to remain seated at this time. Please double check the security of your seatbelt. All electronic devices do need to be turned off and put away this time. This does include all cellular phones. And okay, cellular phones and everything else. Take off my park brake. And uh, we'll get some pushback started here. Um, I need to set my flaps for departure. Uh, set my flaps for departure, adjust my trim down a little bit. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, okay. Just check my um, my screen here. And all my waypoints are all loaded in, which was set up on the startup menu, which is the way I like to do it. It's not so painstakingly slow and boring. So they're all in. We're going to do an ILS uh, approach today. Now, a lot of these things I haven't done yet since, um, since I updated it, so it's new to me. So we're going to find out whether it is still broken or whether things are looking better or not. Um, maybe, hopefully, we'll notice a few other things that uh, have been fixed. I do like the look of the 737. Um, uh, the problems that I had before with the wings and that were becoming more and more annoying to be honest. The more I flew it, the more I noticed it and it was becoming more and more annoying. Uh, but they seem to be okay now as you will see when I depart and, uh, and take off. Thanks Charlie. See you when I get back. Cheers. Now we ask that you direct your attention to the forward part of each cabin to the TV monitors for a brief airport safety message. Welcome aboard. Please fasten your seat belt. Insert the metal fitting into the buckle and tighten the strap. To unfasten your belt, pull up on the buckle. Turbulence may occur unexpectedly, so keep your seatbelt fastened during the flight, even when the sign is not on. Cell phones, two-way pagers, and all other electronic devices should be off and stowed. In American Way magazine is a list of non-approved devices. Remember, cell phones and two-way pagers may never be used in flight. We are ready to depart St. Louis. I'm just going to do my control services check like I always do. Check the rudders. Yes, everything is good. Everything's working fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get clearance um, for takeoff now. Tower Boeing Juliet, Echo Tango, India November, ready for IFR departure, runway 30 left. Come on. Yep. Cleared for takeoff, runway 30 left, Boeing Juliet, Echo Tango, India November. And they have uh, instructed that we climb out and depart at 7,000 feet. Um, now we're going to have a bit of a look around the cockpit and see if there's anything that I can notice that has changed. Now if you haven't updated your 737, go into Content Manager and have a look and you should have the Boeing 737 version 1.6.5, okay? 
that's what I'm using today that was the latest update for the 737 um, so I've now got version 1.6.5 so just check your 737 and see that you have updated to that version uh, if you have then you've got uh, all the new stuff and everything the way it should be um, as it is today Um, but just having a quick look around the cockpit, we have got a few more textures on these parts up here. You can actually some sort of, rather than just a plain bare surface, you have actually got some texture to the surface now. Um, which, which was, I'm quite sure is a little bit, a little bit better than before. I can't, I didn't really look that hard actually at the last version. Um, I mean, I've always liked the cockpit. It is very clean, tidy, and sharp looking, and crisp and clear. And it certainly still is very crisp and clear and sharp. And that's what I like about it. Um, the resolution seems really good inside the cockpit. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so let's depart and um, see how we go with this version 1.6.5. Turn off the auto throttle. Whoops, a little bit wonky on my uh, steering on the takeoff. And here we go. Gear up. Okay, so I'm above 400 feet. I'm going to engage my autopilot. Auto throttle on. Flight director on. LNAV on, autopilot on. I'm going to set my altitude at 7,000 feet initially because that's what air traffic control asked bank for. Angle, bank angle, bank angle, bank angle, bank angle, bank angle. Uh, vertical speed, let's set our vertical speed. So a nice steady climb out. Um, now I noticed on the last on the last version of this plane I didn't get that call out bank angle, bank angle. I don't remember hearing that uh, on the last version. Unless I was doing something wrong of course if you guys heard it. Uh, maybe let me know in the comments below. But the cockpit, I am very, very happy as usual with the cockpit. Okay, let's have a look at the outside of the plane as we climb out. Particularly that big problem with the wings being aligned or not. Um, wing flex, yes, I can see there is wing flex. The wings are bending up slightly at the end. And let's see if the wings are aligned. And yes, they are aligned beautifully. So that is looking sharp. You can tell that the wings are bending up. Not too much. It's not overdone. Uh, sometimes you can overdo effects like that. Um, but this is just very, very subtle. Very, it's, it's noticeable, but it's not overdone. You've got slight bend up with the wings, with the flexing. And of course the wings are beautifully aligned. So that is an issue that has absolutely been fixed properly. And that is done with the update 1.6.5. If you haven't got that update, I suggest you get it. Because it just makes quite a big difference to the look of the plane. It really does. And I'm very, very happy with this plane. I mean, I was happy with it before, even though it had faults and its warts and everything. And it's still not perfect, okay? It's not a study level plane. Let's get over that fact. 
Some people are still making comments. Oh, it doesn't do this. It doesn't do that. It's not. Get over it, guys. It's not a study level plane. It's like a default plane. Okay. Just enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, leave it alone. Go and find something else to play with. Um, but I'm happy with it. I like it. Um, so just get over it, guys. Stop the whinging. If you enjoy it, fly it. If you don't, go and find something else. That's it. Okay. I bought it and I'm happy with it and uh, it's being updated all the time as you can see it is getting better and better and I think now it is a nice 737 uh, before people used to ask me oh would you recommend I buy this plane and I always always used to shy away from an answer or committing myself I'd say well you know it's not study level you have a think about it and da 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 but now I can say that if, if you're okay with something that's not a study level plane, uh, I can recommend that you buy this 737. It is a nice looking plane. Seems to fly very, very well. Does everything it's supposed to do. But we're going to check it out very soon, of course, when we do our RLS landing. Unless there's some more bugs and faults I haven't seen yet. Uh, but so far, this uh, 737 1.6.5, I am very happy with it uh, but we're on our way to Nashville Tennessee and we are looking sharp guys really looking sharp really liking the look of this uh, 737 now I don't care what anybody else says I'm liking it Uh, but I would like to turn up the brightness on these displays. That would be good. That would be helpful. Anyway, how have you all been going, guys? Hope you're keeping well. Hope you're keeping safe. Hope you're enjoying your uh, your flight simulator. Um, the last couple of videos videos I put on, I think, were a little bit different. I put one of my music, uh, one of my videos of me playing playing uh, the piano on there, just to break the boredom a little bit. I had been spending quite a bit of time practicing my piano. Thought some of you might enjoy it. Now, if you like relaxing sort of piano songs or music which is nice to play while you're flying your aeroplane or while you're doing your flight something like that. just have a little bit of gentle uh, light piano music in the background is very very um, relaxing it's really nice um, and if you like to do that I don't mind you using my piano music or listening to it and sharing it as much as you like just go to my music YouTube channel which is uh, New Zealand on piano and uh, look for me there. Uh, so the channel is called New Zealand on Piano. Um, I haven't got a lot, but I've got a few of my piano tunes there. Of course, I used to be a professional entertainer most of my life, perform most of my life. So um, magic and, and public speaking and music. So, um, <clears throat> but if you just like a little bit of background piano music, just go to New Zealand on Piano. You'll see all my music there. Um, I will put some more up there soon. But you're free to use it, okay? Just just listen to the tunes. It's all free. Share it and enjoy some nice, relaxing piano music. Hit subscribe, hit like. Uh, that would be nice as well. Okay, I think we're going to maybe start descending very soon. Yep, we can start descending down a little bit. 
from the flight deck, this is your captain speaking. We're going to be landing in, oh, about 20 minutes, so I'd appreciate it if you would return to your seats and fasten your seat belts at this time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of approach, we ask that you please check. It's a beautiful scenery to look at today. Not too many clouds. We can see the landscape. Um, but again, I'm really enjoying this plane. I'm loving the new update. You can see from the back, the wings are all straight and level the way they should have been. And that's the way it should have been when it was first released, to be honest. They should have had those simple, basic sort of things done before the plane was actually released and people were buying it. It's, it's pretty slack that it's taken them this long to fix that problem. Uh, but it's fixed now, it looks good, and I am loving it. Now this uh, 737 is version 1.6.5. So go to your content, um, your content manager and just check that you've got the latest version. Gear down and locked. Flight attendants, prepare for landing, please. Okay, landing lights on. Now we're cruising international into Nashville and it looks beautiful out there beautiful scenery bit of a hazy old day but it's clear it looks lovely and warm just a slight turn to the left now and then we'll be on finals and I will engage the approach hold mode we are sitting at 160 knots I'm going to bring that down to 135 once we're on finals and we're currently at uh, 3,000 feet. So we'll be at 3,000 feet when I hit the approach hold. And here we go now. We are turning to the left to be on our final approach. Doesn't that scenery look lovely? I've got to say, up to now, this plane has handled absolutely like a dream. Lovely and smooth. It's done everything it's supposed to do. It's been absolutely beautiful, the 737, but we still have the landing to go, okay? So let's not put a jinx on it or speak too soon. We still have the landing to go. So we're on full flaps and there is the airport straight ahead of us. We are coming in as straight as an arrow. And looking B-E-A beautiful. That is a nice looking plane, guys. I just love the 737. Criticize it if you like, but I just love the 737. So I'm as happy as a sand dog right now. But let's hope this plane lands without any glitches, without any problems. And then, uh, you know what they say, the proof is in the pudding. So here we go. Let's see how we go with our landing. Now we have the Magenta Diamonds, they have activated. That one's on center, this one's coming down to be on center. So that is looking good, looking hopeful. Uh, right, we are on center now and we are successfully on the glide slope. Lovely. You can see a little bit of wing flexing there, which is nice to see. Nice little details. As we get close to the runway, we will turn off the autopilot and the auto throttle. And then we are, we are on glide, glide slope. So the plane is doing everything it's supposed to do. And everything that I want it to do. We are configured for landing and final approach way before we got there. So we are well prepared. That scenery is just gorgeous. I'm loving that.
let's see if I can get a nice smooth landing out. Eh? It's not my strong point to be honest. <laughs> it's putting it mildly I have to say. Oh, coming on down now so let's get ready to turn off the autopilot. Autopilot off. 100. And down we come. Nice 30, and 40, soft. 30, 20, 10. There we go. Whoa, a little bit bouncy. A little bit bouncy today. Ah, very bouncy. This is not good. Okay, so flaps up. Man, did I stuff up that landing. Um, what I basically did was um, I turned off the auto, th turned off the auto throttle, the autopilot, uh, the flight director, but my throttle, my little little wee throttle button down on my joystick was actually almost up on full. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, so though I turned off the auto throttle, the autopilot, it sort of went to the natural position of my throttle, which was turned way up too high. So that's what I've got to remember to do. Um, make sure your throttle is right down on the idle position when you turn off your auto throttle and autopilot. Uh, so I bounced along the runway, which was very embarrassing, but I finally came to a halt down the end and regained uh, some composure. <clears throat> Luckily the passengers are all very uh, forgiving and understanding. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, we won't say any more about that, okay? It was a bad landing. That's enough. Let's not go on about it. The good news is we have arrived in Nashville, Tennessee. We are all safe and we're all happy. And we're just going to taxi to our parking now. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that flight. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I loved flying the 737 after the update 1.6.5. If you don't have that update, go ahead and update it. It is fantastic. Maybe you have already. Maybe I'm the last person to do it. Uh, but I just love it now. Um, it looks fantastic. The plane flies well, smooth, does everything it's supposed to do. Um, the ILS landing was great. Oh, my landing was absolutely shocking. It was terrible. I really stuffed up that landing, but that's fine. The good news is I get to try it again on the next flight and uh, learn something each time I do it. Uh, I know what I did wrong, and... Um, We'll, we'll put that right on the next landing. So let's just scrub that out of our memory, that bad one. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. We learned something. We learned how to fix that bug, how to find my aeroplanes and get them reinstalled and updated. So that problem was all fixed. If it happens to you, I hope that you get it sorted out uh, as well. Like I always say, don't follow me. Don't do what I do. I'm not saying that the way I fly these planes is the correct way to do it, okay? I just fly to have fun and enjoy myself casually. And um, I don't care what anybody else says. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll do another video soon and we'll go flying somewhere again in this beautiful 737. I'm really enjoying it now that it's had those little issues fixed. Um, and I'm glad that I stuck with it and just didn't criticize it and delete it and go away. Um, so it's a good plan. I would recommend anyone fly and buy this plane. As uh, long as you're not looking for a high study level plane. This is just a, for a casual sort of flyer. Um, like a def default plane really. Uh, but it is enjoyable. And that's my opinion. Okay guys, stay safe. Look after yourselves. I'll see you on the next video. Appreciate your comments. Welcome to all the new subscribers. They're still flooding in. I got no idea why. <laughs> I'm not an expert or a technical person. Um, but if you have fun watching me um, uh, fly very, very poorly, uh, that's great. Okay, ciao guys. Cheers.